Hey, don't mess with those. Don't mess with those, please. We're the Farnsworths. We're an RV travel nurse family, and we've been on the road for three and a half years. This summer, we're exploring Alaska. Come with us today as we leave Valdez and explore the Richardson Highway on the way back to Anchorage. Well, since today is so nice, we decided to come back to Keystone Canyon, which is this really awesome canyon on the way into Valdez. What is it? It's a canyon. It's a canyon. And it's full of waterfalls, and they are incredibly beautiful waterfalls. This one behind me is Horsetail Falls. Bridal Veil Falls is just up the road there. But there are all kinds of waterfalls everywhere. I don't know if they're all named. I don't know the names of them, but they're gorgeous. It's time to move on. We're gonna go over Thompson Pass. We did this yesterday, but it was raining and we didn't get to see anything. So today we're enjoying the sunshine and checking out the views. This is the Keystone Railroad Tunnel of 1906. This is 100% carved out by hand, no machinery. But in 1906, there was a huge feud. There was a gunfight that broke out near here and it was never completed. You know what's fun? It's full, yeah, what's full of what? And climbing. And climbing gear. <laughs> there are tons of routes inside of this. It's, uh, yeah, it's kind of neat. Yeah, and there's also a bunch of routes on the outside on the tunnel wall, like outside of there, but they're like 5'11", they're, they're hard. A little out of our range right yeah. now. Thank goodness for galoshes. We keep them in our car for moments such as this. They come in handy for sure. So we don't get our feet wet. Cause it's really wet here in Alaska, right? Yep, and I got a lot of drips on my clothes. Yeah, we did get a lot of drips in the tunnel. All right, let's go. here at Worthington Glacier and there's this nice interpretive area here that teaches all about different kinds of glaciers in Alaska. What's happening to them, how do they form, how do they recede or advance, how they form ponds. It's really a cool little area. A really popular thing to do here in Alaska at this time of year, it is fall and it is the perfect time of year to pick blueberries. Actually all kinds of berries. But we are looking for blueberries and we don't even have like proper buckets. Yeah. People all over the highway here, Glen Highway, Richardson Highway, they're pulled over with big old white buckets and they're searching for berries. There's apparently millions of them. So we're going to go check it out. All we have are empty cups from this the gas station. This way, right? Yes. So we're going to go fill up our empty cups with blueberries and maybe, I don't know, make some blueberry muffins. Smooch, go find them. Go find us those blueberries. The only blueberries we had ever picked were from pretty good sized bushes. So that's where we were looking. But it turns out the blueberries here are found low to the ground and they blanket the mountain. I couldn't think of a better backdrop for berry picking. Nice. Yeah, way more than that. That's so cool. If you see one that where the leaves are slightly reddish color, uh -huh. that's that's a good one to start pulling from. Okay. I just keep stopping and saying, this is so cool, this is so cool. Yes. We're literally 
just out in the wild picking berries. Alaska's bounty right here. I can't wait to cook it into something. We're gonna freeze them, see if they are just good little snacks frozen. And uh, John was saying like, we're not, we're not really fishermen, which I know a lot of people are sad about because they love fishing and that's <laughs> great. We're just, we're not into fishing. So we didn't get to, you know, like go catch. Not that we have anything against it. It's yeah, there's not, nothing against fishing. We just, it's not, not a, we do. it's not a thing that we enjoy doing as a family. And so this is really cool because it gives us an opportunity to still like reap Alaska's, I don't know, what do you call it? Bounty? Harvest the Alaskan bounty. Harvest the Alaska bounty. Fine. John is uh, following everybody around with the bug spray because it's really bad here and we, uh, you know, we just stopped on the side of the road. We didn't really think ahead. Well, we've got our cup full of berries. Hey, hey. hey, hey. hey, hey. <laughs> now we're going to go take in some views. Go back to the campsite, cook us some dinner, check out the campsite a little bit, maybe bike around. Just and relax. Make some blueberry muffins. And make some blueberry muffins. We don't know where this goes, so we think it's a Jeep trail. Well, we, I'm pretty confident it's a Jeep trail. I mean, it's not a highway. This is, well, I know, but this is the trail, the, uh, eight, the 98 trail. Yeah. The 1898 trail, the Gold Rush Trail um, that the people, which is cool because we've been to the Klondike Museum in Seattle where they would leave from, and then they would sail, some of them would sail to Valdez and then hike all the way up this with all of their gear and try to get up to Dawson Creek in the Yukon and search for gold. Where are we, buddy? The Klondike Gold Rush. The historical park. Yeah, in National Park. In Seattle. In Seattle, right? We're going to check yeah. it out. Back in Seattle, we learned a lot about the last great gold rush in American history. The Klondike Gold Rush of 1898. There were many routes, and it was a long journey to get to the Klondike. Some people opted to take a two-week voyage to Valdez and cross Valdez Glacier, which became known as the All-American Route to the Gold Fields. It was worth getting them here in Alaska. Like this. Okay, everyone's mad at me, but this is what, what? we have to go through for a while, and it's just gonna scratch everything up. Too bad. Just... Let's go. Hey, Aaron. That was so fun. I just have to say, there's plenty to do in Alaska for free. <laughs> Absolutely free. You just have to get out. Okay, so Miss Chloe is gonna make our blueberry muffins this morning. And we went ahead and bought a package. I can make them from scratch, but I decided to just buy a package. And this one has a can of blueberries in it. And we're just gonna set those aside and use our own blueberries. How about that? Yeah. All right, so let's do this. Good job. That was a good crack. I barely got any yolk on me. Good. Oh. That's okay. <laughs> awesome. Alright, it's time to eat our muffins. Here, it's easier if you pop them up from the bottom. Oh, yeah. Mm -hmm. 
Mm -hmm. How are they? Nice and warm. <laughs> Oh, so Natural good. blueberry. Mm, that's good. Some for the road. <laughs> All right, it's time to head back toward Anchorage. We're going to stop midway again. The Richardson Highway was Alaska's very first road. It was known to the gold seekers of 1898 as the Valdez to Eagle Trail. For us, it was perhaps the most scenic road we've taken yet. We were stunned to see the magnificent Wrangell Mountains on our way home. The clouds had completely shrouded them on our way to Valdez, so they were a welcome surprise on our way back. We still haven't seen Mount Denali on a clear day. However, we're driving along here on Richardson Highway and Mount Blackburn is behind me. And it's this gorgeous white capped range of mountains right here. You come around the corner on the highway and it's like, boom, they're right there. And they look so tall. Now Mount Denali is over 20,000 feet tall. This one, Mount Blackburn is 16,390 feet tall which is taller than any other mountain on the lower 48 in the lower 48. So it's still a very tall mountain, really cool to see completely covered in snow. How did we not know that there was a national park on our route? Stand up straight and tall, raise your right hand, and repeat after me. As a junior ranger, as a junior ranger, I promise, I promise to protect, to protect, protect and learn, and learn about the national parks. About the national parks. So guys, thank you so okay. much. There are nice two. job. Not a week, not a single day. Hold true to what you wanna be. Never let. Tell me about how big this park is. It's six times Yellowstone. What? And bigger than Switzerland. The whole park? Yeah, uh -huh. This one park is bigger than Switzerland? Uh huh, yeah. Wow. It's actually coming all the way up. <laughs> <laughs> so you doing okay so far? So far so good. I'm so glad I'm not in the truck right now. <laughs> doing there my love <laughs> security security <laughs> securing the vehicle so we don't go off the edge <laughs> we're not gonna go off the edge i know we're not i know <laughs> you 
here we are, probably one of the most epic campsites I have ever taken us to. Maybe one of the most harrowing as well. We were here at the beginning of the Glacier Valdez trip. We came back to this on the return. We scouted it out. I'm like, I'm pretty sure I can get windy up there. And I did. Our time has come to a close. It's time to head back to Anchorage. We're getting everything packed up. One last view of this beautiful scenery. We're in a precarious little spot here. So John is going to, John is, go, I'm going to go down first in the Jeep. And then John's gonna follow. That way I can see if there's any other cars on the route on the way down and get some footage of him coming down because it's pretty epic. All right, here we go. Bound, Anchorage bound. Cause I just wanna see the light. Yeah, I just wanna see the light. Well, our trip to Valdez was a success. Thanks for coming along with us today. Next week, we're playing in Alaska's playground on the Kenai Peninsula. We'll see you out there. <laughs>